Another part that I think is one that we want to not have to keep uh, kind of at the forefront of our mind right now, but as we go into the future and look for this team to reach into that contending state and a key to what will be determining whether or not this team can reach to that contending state is a spot that he talks about in this interview at the end with Byron Murphy that was a part of the process in, the, in what drew teams to Murphy that had nothing to do with his physical skill, leadership. I remember an interview, it stands out to me, and I swear I've tried to find this interview and I'll locate it someday off of 710 way back in the day, like 12, 13 years ago. This is before Cam Chancellor became Bam Bam Cam and everything, and he was just getting into becoming a starting role. And he was talking to them in an interview about the next step of the process. You know, you've learned the scheme, you've ascended, you've ascended to become a starter, you were starting in the NFL. What's the next step of the process? And the place that I think all coaches share in this, and Coach Carroll was able, maybe at his most brilliant, to get across to those young guys at that point, because it's such a hard thing to get across to, to multimillionaires and guys that are, you know, this. Can you take on that extra level of responsibility? Can you take on leadership? Can you not only do it, can you take that guy with you on your way to doing it? Anybody go, I can get there. Yeah, can you pull that guy with you? Well, I mean, I can get there. Yeah, can you take them with you? Because at the end of the day, you can build the foundation of talent. John Schneider, I think, has done over the last couple of years. Big part of it on not just drafting solidly from a value-based standpoint, but of course the, the bevy of picks you got from Russell Wilson. You can bring in the smart coach who's cutting edge and doing everything that he can from an advantage standpoint to help those players out to put them in the position to succeed. But the final part of the process, I think, is characterized by who are the leaders that rise up now. You can't force it from a coaching standpoint. This has got to be on the, the players' shoulders at that point. Who are going to be the ones who take on that level of ownership, that ultimate responsibility that I w I'm going to bring you with me on this. I'm not just trying to get there. I'm taking you with me on this. And then if you can get that as a collective mindset within the group, and it starts with those young guys who have that ability within them to be those natural leaders. And when you hear about this with Byron Murphy coming from Texas within him, and you heard this about Devin Witherspoon and his time with Illinois, these are the guys that will be the next guys to step forward in that way if we're going to hope for this team to get to that contending state. Because you can have those first two things in place, but if the third part don't click, if you got the sparks but no fire takes, you're not going to get to a contending state. You've got to have the leaders in the locker room too. And we've got a young team, as young as you'll find in the NFL. And the next part of the process for them to get to that ascending state is going to have to be those leaders rising up. And not just one here and one there, but as many as you can possibly foster in that locker room. Because when we look back at that Elgin Legion of Boom locker room and those people that took on that ultimate responsibility, we can find on both sides of the ball guys that we can characterize in that way and not just stars of that time, but guys like a Brandon Mabain or a Red Bryant. Who's going to be the one on this Yacht team? I don't know, but certainly two very good candidates as we look forward, Byron Murphy and Devin Witherspoon.